like it's gonna be a great day today To get some fresh air like a stray on a straightaway Hey you, got a light? Nah, a Bud Light Early in the morning, face crud for my Alright, so to do the recall animation, you're going to uh, need to bring your uh, first person view model out of the replica storage. Uh, now, when you animate it, uh, pay close attention on how I do it. Uh, I know some people will be like, oh, I don't have a moon animator. <laughs> this tutorial, give me the animations. Well, you can still do it uh, on the built in animator in Roblox. So it's easy, you just have to, it's just harder to animate, but you can still do it. Once you're done, uh, just save it to Roblox and keep it, keep the anim save with it. Don't delete it, we're gonna need it later for the next part. You should then create an animation instance, name it recall animation, paste the animation ID into it. You are now ready to code. Create a function and name it recall animation. Recall anim. We then filter which view model we animate depending on if the player is in first person or not. I feel like I've been saying this sentence a lot, so just bear with me. We're then going to create the animation. This is all basic stuff, so I don't think I should explain it. You then execute it, make sure the recall animation goes before the camera recall, otherwise there's gonna be a huge delay uh, on the animation recall. Wow, it works, who would have thought? Okay, so for the reload animation, we have to do the same as thing as the recall, but except the animation itself. This is this one is a bit more tricky though, so just follow what I do step by step. Fighting
Once you're done, just save it. You have to do a uh, same animation for the other view model, with a bit of the difference in the animation. Bring the anim save into the third person view model. and tweak the animation just like I did in the video. When all that is done, save both on Roblox with different names. And create two new instances with the following names. Paste each ID in the respective animation. To start scripting, we first need a variable to see if our player is reloading. This will act as a cooldown and a state check. Uh, we immediately make it so that we, we can't shoot where we reload. Then we create the actual reloading function. For now, just like the recall, we just play the animation. We duplicate a mag so it falls off when we reload. and it works perfectly. Now we just need to do the same buffer server script. To do that, we have to modify the fire server of the shoot event. So press Ctrl F to search it, search it. And once you modify like I did, You can go onto your server script and modify so we have a different output if the message 
if the message variable is reload or nil. Then just paste what you did in the local script and it's just all good. After editing, I realized I forgot to make the server part for the recall and then... So here we go. Alright, this is the end of the video. I feel like I didn't say much and I apologize for that because my PC had a lot of issues re recently and recording has been a mess. Know that I fixed the problem so it should be fine now. Also, thank you guys for 1k subs, like holy shit, you guys are insane. The next part will be about VFX and GUI, so probably will be the last part, actually. Alright, well, see you soon, guys.